In this movie, we're going to be discussing how to use AND in the Select Expert. We're going to continue to use the report from the prior movie. Go ahead and choose the Select Expert. Notice our revenue transaction date now claims as a formula from before. We're going to go ahead and show this formula. This time we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to delete, and in this case we're going to use is one of. And we're going to go ahead and choose from the drop down box Charlotte, Chicago, Louisiana, and Northern California. Now, if I go to my formula editor, it all of a sudden refreshes this so I can see all my choices. From here, I'm going to put and at the end of it. I'm going to add a few more conditions. I'm going to choose revenue amounts greater than 100 and the division must be west. The point of this is the AND statement means that all these conditions must be met. Go ahead and click your save and close button. Then I press OK. From here I'm going to refresh my data. Now from here I have Northern California and that's it. If I go to the end of the report all I have is Northern California. There are two things at work here. By putting an AND clause at the end of the select expert statements, you're saying AND these following conditions must be true. In this case, the only data that met the condition was for Northern California because the revenue amounts are greater than 100, the division was west, and it was also included in our list to look for to begin with. The longer your select statement is, the more ands that you put in, the more filtered and tight and difficult it is to pull more data. It's not so much difficult as per se as it puts a lot of barriers in place. If one of these conditions is out of place, like for example the division wasn't west or the office name wasn't in that original list of offices we chose from, it wouldn't show up on the report at all. For example, if we go back to our select expert, go back to our show formula, you can also edit it straight in here without going in to this, and I say take off west and just leave the two conditions and press OK. Let's go ahead and refresh our data. All of a sudden I have more offices that appear. I have a Charlotte in addition to Northern California, and I have Louisiana. These finally met more of the conditions. Remember, we're filtering the data for the entire report. The more conditions and filters and AND clauses you use, the more concentrated and focused your return set will be.